A lot of people may think they know me, but very few people know who I am. People know my favorite animal is a sloth, I love the blues and the capitals, and my favorite food is mac and cheese. But not many people have a clue about the things I struggle with. No one can physically see what goes on in my head, and the people I see every day would never assume anything about it. There's a constant silent battle with myself. It's hard to talk about life and the way things affect me when I know they shouldn't bother me at all. Some days I feel weak. Some days I just want to give up. Some days I'd rather make it someone else's problem, but in the end, I choose to continue on. My name's Naomi, and this is what holding on means to me. My brain works systematically. I like to follow patterns and routines. There's a little voice in my head talking to me throughout the day, whether it be to remind myself of exactly how I act or to degrade me without question. That being said, my days are pretty similar. I know what to expect and when to expect it. There's something on your glasses. Looking in from the outside, I'm just another average person. Or at least that's what I'd like to tell myself. Dry brush first. With over seven billion people in this world, I never thought I would be my own worst enemy. It's funny how life works. Sometimes I have to fight myself just to make it through the day. Tap front. Tap under. Tap behind. Bottom front. Bottom under. Bottom behind. Front again. Front again. And in the middle. It drives me crazy how much power these mental illnesses have over me. It would be nice to brush my teeth without my brain constantly telling me there's only one specific way it can be done. Your hair's uneven. Your glasses aren't lined up. Or having the inability to accept imperfections while having the awareness that no one is perfect. I'm just a contradiction. The worst part about understanding how I'm different is not being able to do anything about it. Right leg, left leg, pull, zipper, button, buckle. Especially with relationships. Right arm left arm, over the head. I've struggled with them the most. Right sock, left sock, right shoe, left shoe. I am incapable of being vulnerable and building substantial relationships. Ever since I was little, I've struggled to make friendships on my own. I'm a great friend, I just don't know how to balance relationships. I have a hard time connecting with others. Right eye. More often than not, I'm left feeling lonely in the presence of others. Left eye, blink, 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 blink. I've never understood why this is. Left arm, right arm. I can be in a room full of 100 people and still feel alone. On the average day, the classes I'm in look like this. Students are working hard, getting things done, and working towards a degree. But if I'm having a bad day, the same classroom you just saw will feel like this. In no way would the class actually look like this, but my mind makes me feel like I'm drowning. Like I'm the center of attention. Like everyone hates me and all I need to do is get away. It's hard to explain why I feel like this when the classroom is perfectly content and there's not actually anything going on. The same thing happens when the class attention is actually directed to me. This is what happens when I write on the board. Exactly, literally nothing. This is what I think is happening when I write on the board. What is she wearing? Look at her hair. You stink. Do you even know what you're doing? You're a failure. I've you never seen worse anything. handwriting. No one loves you. You're all alone. You're a freak. Why are you here? Go away. No one believes in you. What does that even say? Give up. Are you even thinking right now? Did you write any smaller? She is so dumb. I go back to my apartment and nothing feels right. So what do I do? I move around all the furniture until I can't recognize the room anymore. It's an easy way to allow myself to reset. I feel better, like I have gotten something accomplished. I like to move stuff around often to keep myself on my toes and to keep me feeling calm. For the next part of my day, I head to my safe space, a fresh sheet of ice and some time to practice. This is where I'm able to feel most like myself. I'm important here. No matter how many times I want to argue against it, my presence matters.
Sometimes I think I'm just another goalie, but to my team, I'm their goalie. No one else gets to say that. It doesn't matter what gets into my head, being an athlete allows me to be free. Stick, glove, outside of the pad, right post, set. It's important to me that I put my all into what I do. Especially when I think about my teammates, I never get to play with again. I've learned a lot since I was hospitalized in 2017. Suicide is never the answer. In the end, I need to be here. If I can continue on and push through, I can inspire someone else to stay too. Not every day is a good day, but it's okay to not be okay. It's just not okay to not do anything about it. It's time we do something about it.